it is Wednesday evening and I don't usually start my vlogs in the evenings but I, I've really struggled to vlog this week and I just, I keep feeling like I'm just filming the same thing every single week. But we have got some beautiful weather here in England and I couldn't be happier. I have just had the loveliest day with my mum. She came over and we were shooting loads of content. I had some brand jobs to shoot. And I also had a few kind of inspo images in my head that I really wanted to capture today. And oh my goodness, the content that we got today, I am just so over the moon with. I am so happy. So I'm very excited for it all to go live on Instagram. It was just, you know those feelings when something you've imagined kind of comes to fruition and it's like a reality. I literally was so over the moon and it was so warm today so we were outside all day shooting and we were just sat on the sofas chatting i was doing some work and it was the loveliest day she also brought my little dog gracie so she was enjoying the garden and having the best time and then just before they left we went for a quick walk and she left and i've literally been sat here for the past three hours catching up on laptop stuff from today and I've just finished work. It is currently, what is the time? Quarter past seven and it's still so lovely outside. The sun is shining. It is just such a beautiful day. And I feel like it's gonna be really nice for the next couple of weeks, fingers crossed. We're actually hosting a garden party next Saturday for all of our friends. And I'm really excited about it because I've been waiting for this moment where I have my garden and I can host all of our friends and we can do a lovely barbecue. And it's just gonna be like very chilled vibes, just very kind of English summer countryside. And I'm really excited, I cannot wait. I've already been planning recipes, pinning them on Pinterest, deciding what salads I wanna make and testing out some recipes over the weekend. And I'm very excited about it. Obviously I will vlog the whole thing and I will show you everything I'm doing in the run up. But I thought I should start the vlog because I just, I've been slacking and I don't know if you guys think this or if it's just me and my imposter syndrome brain, but I just, when I've been editing my vlogs, I just feel like they're always the same and I'm always showing you the same things and I'm always doing the same things because my life is just like that. So please let me know if you find them boring and if there's anything in particular that you do wanna see, please let me know. But I'm just looking at my skin because, I mean, I haven't touched my makeup since 7 a.m. But I've used some new products this morning and I'm absolutely obsessed with them. I feel like the coverage and the glowiness is incredible. So I think tomorrow morning I will do my makeup with you and I'll show you all the products and we can kind of go through them all and I'll link them all below because I am really, really impressed and it's very rare that I steer away from my everyday products. When I find a product I like, I stick with it. So yeah, I think we'll do that tomorrow. I also have some very exciting office updates for you. And while the sun is shining through the windows, I thought I would show you what's been going on. Oh my God, also a window cleaner came to the house today and said, hello, do you want a window cleaner? And I said, yes. I've been trying to find a window cleaner on all of the village Facebook groups and I just can't find one. And he said, oh, brilliant. He's like, I can do all the windows. I come every month. He's like, you can text me or I can text you and let you know when I'm in the area. I was like, amazing. So he literally cleaned all the windows within about 15 minutes and I couldn't believe it. So now I need to go around and clean all the insides of the windows because I honestly don't think they've ever been cleaned. And it's quite a big task because there are quite a lot of windows, but that's tomorrow's job. Okay, in the office, can we just appreciate the light in the office in the evening? It is incredible. I cannot wait to get in here and work in here and film in here. But anyway, this room is a building site, so please ignore the mess. Please don't judge me. But some exciting updates have been going on. So you can see here, oh, look at the lighting. You can see that the wall 
something has happened to the wall basically we've had a lot of damp in the wall this is a very old house and there wasn't really much damp proofing there wasn't really much in the way of kind of helping the wall so jack actually over the weekend took all of the wall away took it back to brick and he's actually bought this like membrane stuff i don't know if this is interesting but basically it's this membrane that stops damp from spreading and i don't even know he's just done it so yeah that is done all the way around here so this needs to be replastered and repainted you might also notice a massive pile of bricks and that is because we have finally taken the bricks off of the fireplace and got the fireplace in there's still lots of things to do we still need to render the edges where the bricks have been taken off i did have a little go at doing it um, but we need to finish all of that and we actually do need to secure the fireplace it's not actually secured to the wall yet um and i need to finish painting the bricks but i am over the moon i cannot even put into words how excited i am to see this i have waited for this day for so many weeks and it is bringing me so much joy so yes the fireplace is on i can't remember where i got this from but i will leave it linked below because it was an incredible price it's not a working fireplace it's merely just for aesthetics and oh, i'm just so happy with it look how beautiful it is oh my goodness you can probably see from behind me that this room is a mess and there's still a lot to do in here but seeing the fireplace on the wall is just making me so happy so this weekend i think we're going to plaster the walls get them all done and ready to paint and then once that is done and the fireplace is secured we can clear this room sort it out and get the flooring fitted which is so exciting and we actually already have the herringbone floor in the barn so it's literally ready to go so as soon as this is done we can get going with it and i am just so excited to get this space set up and start using it and start working in here and shooting in here oh my goodness it is going to be amazing i just i can't believe it also i am still wearing these same lily silk trousers that i was wearing last week i am just in love with them i actually had to go and collect my car today it was in the garage for a service and the lady in mercedes said i love your trousers where are they from and i was like oh, aren't they just incredible they are so nice i love them i wore them today with like a knitted tank my celine belt and my emma's around and that is going to be my summer outfit for the rest of summer if we have summer because i am obsessed with these trousers i also didn't think i'd be doing an outfit for the day surrounded by dewalt tools and bricks but <laughs> there we go there is literally nothing i love more than a midweek evening the sun is setting the doors open there's a lovely breeze i've got a cold glass of rosé and i'm waiting for jack to get home and i can watch an episode of whatever tv i want and lately i have been watching desperate housewives i am absolutely hooked and i've actually watched this loads of times before i actually used to watch it when i was really young which is really weird um when i was about 12 i remember watching it but i started it again i've started it from series one episode one and i'm just obsessed with it yes so i'm gonna watch an episode of this i'm on season one episode five so i'm gonna watch this and then jack should be home and we can start on dinner i also just realized that i haven't shown you this photo frame i have had this for probably about a year now it's from zara home and i haven't put any photos in it for a year and i finally got some photos printed and they're not actually stuck in i don't have any tape, so i need to get some sticky back um little dots so that i can put them in the middle so it's really not straight but i thought i would show you these photos of me and jack because i just love them this was in gosh must have been 2017 we used to go to ascot every year with one of our friends and we actually flew there in a helicopter it was absolutely incredible 
I look like a little baby and Jack doesn't look any different. This one is at a charity ball that we go to every single year. This was actually last year and I just love this photo so much. Like we are so smiley and I just love it. And then this one was from our ski trip recently when we went skiing at Christmas. It was my first time skiing. And again, I just love this. I feel like it's so adorable. And I really want to add more photos into the house because it's something I haven't really ever done. My mum always had loads of photos around the house and I love these Zara home frames. They do so many different types. I just love that it's glass with the gold antique brass frame. So I wanna get some more. I wanna get some big ones, some smaller ones and just have them dotted around on all the sides. Ooh. Jack is home. Good morning, everyone. It is the most beautiful day today. I've just got back from my morning walk. The morning walk's back. If you have followed me for a while, you might know that last summer, I literally went on a walk every single morning for about four months in a row. And I did 10K steps every morning and I didn't run. I literally just went for a walk and I loved it so much. It was just the best start to the day. And this morning I was like, right, I'm gonna find my headphones and put some music on, go out for a walk. I'm just gonna walk. I'm not gonna even think about it. And I actually ended up running a little bit. <laughs> I just had so much energy. I was walking and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna run. So I did like a little bit of running, a little bit of walking, a little bit of running. And I'm not gonna lie, I cannot run. I'm so unfit. I used to be so good at running. I used to do sprints at school and I used to be quite good at sprinting. I was quite fast. And I used to do like interval sprints on the treadmill when I um, lived at home and we had a treadmill at home. But since then, I just, I haven't done any running and I'm not the fittest, but it feels so good to be outside and do a walk in the morning. I just, yeah, I'm so glad that I'm back to the morning walks. So yeah, I really enjoyed it. And I've come back and made myself my iced coffee. I've just been sat drinking it in the garden and it is such a lovely morning. I also think that I may be intolerant to coffee because I have been struggling with the worst acid reflux and my tummy has been severely bloated and I wake up every morning and I can feel like an acid feeling in my tummy and I was googling it and it said fatty foods, chocolate, coffee and tomatoes which is random. I don't really eat tomatoes but coffee, I do have coffee and I never used to have coffee so I think I'm going to have to cut it out which is really annoying so I'm going to need to find a new morning drink because I like the process of having a morning drink and like sitting outside with the morning drink so I'm going to have to find something else I think I might have to make some green smoothies again um, so yeah this is going to be my last coffee for a while I'm going to cut it out and see if it helps but yeah today is a gorgeous day and I thought I would start the vlog in the garden because it is just heavenly it's so warm and it's blue skies. I mean, I don't know if you can hear the sheep, but they are so noisy. So yeah, anyway, I'm just in a great mood this morning, but my walking outfit today is a very old sports bra from Mango. I love this because it's got little scallop details. Um, there we go. And then shorts, my running shorts are from P Nation. I've had these for a while, but I love them. They're really, really comfortable. And then I've just got this jumper, which is an old Zara man jumper and I've got my old trainers on which are so dirty because I always wear these in the garden. They're an adidas pair, I've had them for years and that is my running outfit and I did have my hair up but um, I just took it out because it was very sweaty. So I'm going to go have a shower, get myself ready. I want to do my makeup today, really nice so I'm going to show you what products I'm using and get cracking with some filming because I've got quite a bit to do this morning. I always like to curl it and then leave it and I brush it out 
at the end so we're gonna be leaving that for now it does look a little bit crazy but um trust the process so in my makeup bag i have a lot of new products to try my skin is currently so dry so i need a lot of hydration it feels really tight when i'm doing my makeup and my skincare my main thing is hydration and right now my face feels really tight my lips feel so dry so hydration is key i have been using this tatcha luminous dewy skin mist for about two months now you can see i've literally got this much left because i am obsessed with it i have been using it so much it's so lightweight and it really hydrates your skin you can spray this over your makeup as well so i always like to start with a few sprays of this on my face first of all just because it really hydrates and i love it then i'm going to put some lip balm on this is rose pencil soft lip cream from fresh i have had this lip cream for years and i've only just got to the bottom of the pot i love this it's lasted me so long and i wear it every single morning okay next up i am using the rose ink radiant reveal brightening serum which is running very low but i love this product it is again so calming on the skin it's so hydrating i just really love everything that rose ink does i've used this for a couple of years now and i always go back to it because it's just such a lovely calming everyday product but yes it is running severely low so i need to get a top up of this i definitely find with my makeup that when i have a really good skincare base my makeup firstly sits better but also i really don't need to wear as much makeup and i've really been steering away from wearing a lot of makeup lately i've barely been wearing foundation most days i'm just wearing like a skin tint and a bit of bronzer and blush i haven't worn concealer for oh my goodness probably since may april or may so a good few months since i've even picked up a concealer mainly because my concealers ran out and i just haven't purchased a new one and i don't really feel like i need a concealer you know i feel like apart from a couple of little blemishes and a little bit of redness i'm really really happy with my skin if i'm going into london i am then using the sarah chapman digital shield which is an incredible day cream this is really good at basically creating a barrier between your skin and the pollution but because i'm just at home and i'm just in the garden today i'm not going to wear this but i honestly love this it's such an incredible product if you live in a city you must try this spf time i've been using the sunbum glow 30 spf every day for the past few months this is incredible and i honestly couldn't recommend this enough it's tinted and when you apply this you literally don't need anything else it is so incredible however i've also received this one from mecca cosmetica and i actually tested this out at the weekend and i really really enjoyed it this is spf 50 so it's a little bit stronger than the sun bum one obviously we all know with spf that you need to apply quite a lot for it to actually work so i really like to apply quite a bit and rub this in for a good couple of minutes so that it's fully sunk in but you can kind of see it is tinted so it's a really nice daytime sun cream obviously you need to have a lot of spf on um so this is going to look a bit wild for the next couple of minutes but i assure you once this is rubbed in it is gorgeous this spf is the most silky soft spf i have ever applied it literally feels like silk on my skin and it makes it look so glowy i don't know if you can see on camera but just by rubbing that in my skin looks so much more alive and glowy so i'm not going to do a full face of makeup today because as i said i'm just at home in the garden i'm not filming any content or anything but i am going to tell you a few products that i've been really loving for a more full face 
So I am going to apply my By Terry CC Serum. This is in the shade Apricot Glow. I actually would quite like to try the darker shade of this because my body is quite brown and I feel like it's not really matching very well to my skin. So I might order the darker color of this. But I'm obsessed with this. It's such a gorgeous product. And you can actually mix this with your foundation. So when I'm doing a bit more of a heavier, more coverage face, like I did yesterday, I have been using a couple of new foundations. You guys know that I am obsessed with the Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. I've used this for years now. This is probably like my third bottle. I have the shade 6.5 love this i will never not love it it's such an incredible foundation however i received a few new foundations in my pr and i thought i would give them a go one of them being the giorgio armani luminous silk i've used this for years i've actually purchased this many many times throughout my life especially when i was at uni this was my go-to foundation and this is again 6.5 this is a little bit darker, so it actually matches to my skin tone quite nicely. Then I have the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Foundation with SPF 30. This is a super lightweight foundation. It's almost like a skin tint. It's so thin and watery, but it still has that really gorgeous flawless coverage. I really like this foundation. I really like the fact that it's got a pipette. And you can just do a tiny little drop into your serum. So I've been using these two together. And then adding a tiny drop of this one just because of the colour. Because this one is shade 300W Warm Medium Fair. And it is a little bit too light for me. So I've been mixing these two. But I would say if you get your correct shade, any one of these three foundations are amazing. By Terry Hyaluronic is much more of a thinner daytime foundation i would say this is really nice for just everyday light coverage if you like your skin to feel really glowy ambient lighting is just such a good all-rounder it is a lot thicker so you need the tiniest tiniest bit if you don't want very cakey full coverage i almost use this as just the color to my face i don't really use it as like coverage if that makes sense and then i would say the same about luminous silk it is quite thick but it's got that really silky kind of feel to it. Because I don't want super full coverage makeup today, I just want a little bit of color. I am going to film some content, but um, I don't need like full, full coverage. So I'm gonna do a little bit of my By Terry CC Serum. I just apply this to the back of my hand. You probably could just apply it to your face, but I like applying it to my hand. This brush, by the way, is the best brush I've ever used. It's an hourglass um, little like blending brush and I am obsessed with it. It just creates such a nice flawless base without being kind of too patchy and oh, I love it. I've never got on board with a beauty blender. It's just not my thing. I do not like a sponge, I like a brush. Then going to bronze. Bronze and blush, just to add a little bit of colour. I'm going to use my Chanel Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream. This is in the original. I've had this for so long. Look at this. I have honestly had this for probably like four years. And I just, it's probably out of date to be honest. But I go back to it time and time again. And I always remember how much I love it because it's a cream product. It just blends so seamlessly. I'm just applying this with a big fluffy brush. This is a just a simple one from M&S Beauty. But you can see how just by applying that bronzer just adds a little bit of life back into my face. And then I'm just gonna bring this on my forehead and then just on my chin, jawline, and then down my neck a little bit. Moving on to blush, which is my favourite part. To think that I never used to wear blush, I just find crazy because I absolutely love it. I have a few different favourites, but lately I have been leaning towards the Beauty Pie blush in the shade Bare Blush. I also tried a new blush yesterday and it was actually a powder blush, which is never something I usually reach for. However, it was so beautiful, I really wanted to 
shout about it in case you guys love powder blush. This is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Glow Blush in the shade 10. And it is just the most perfect powdery pink rose blush kind of shade. I just want to show you how gorgeous this is, how subtle. And this is actually really perfect for no makeup days when you want that little flush of colour. It's so beautiful. Can you see how it's just kind of brought out that? little bit of pinkiness i don't know if it's showing up on camera and i always apply my blush to the high points of my cheekbones just because i feel like it lifts the face a little bit rather than having it like there i feel like it's nice to bring it up i love how i'm literally acting like i am a makeup artist and i have no idea what i'm doing with makeup i am so bad at makeup honestly I love it so gorgeous then i'm just going to brush my brows i just use an old mascara brush um which i've cleaned i've had this one for ages and i just brush my eyebrows that's literally all i do because my eyebrows are ridiculously thick and crazy and then for my lashes i need to get my lashes done they are so so straight and basically you can't even see them so i need to get my lash lift done desperately i'm gonna try and book that in today actually um so i curl my lashes first of all this is a lash curler from tweezerman the best lash curlers ever tweezerman just have the best products honestly i don't think anyone can bring out a better set of tweezers and lash curlers Okay, I mean, look how much wider my eye is. <laughs> then I have been using the Swede Pro Lash Lift Mascara. This is unbelievable. I'm gonna come closer so you can see my lashes, but can you see just one coat? Look how incredible that is. I am just so obsessed with this mascara. I think it's incredible. And you can really build this up if you like quite a thick, heavy lash or you like just a really fine, simple coating. You can really do what you want with it. I love getting a lash lift because if you have very straight lashes like me, it basically just means you don't have to curl your lashes. And it's just one step taken out of your makeup routine. And I do find that my lashes are the longest part because... I have to curl them, I do the mascara, then I let it dry, and then I have to curl them again because they've already dropped down. <laughs> they just don't have a natural curl to them at all. And finally, I'm going to move on to lips. I'm using the By Terry Hyaluronic Lip Liner in the shade Dare to Bear. This is so beautiful. One thing I do like to do before I do my lip liner is just kind of blend in the lip balm a little bit. Otherwise, I feel like the lip liner doesn't really stay on my lips. Who remembers the stage of the thick eyebrows, the foundation lips, the like thick eyeliner, blue eyeshadow? Goodness me. I was definitely one of those girls that wore the Dream Matte Mousse foundation and I had super thick eyebrows. I used to fill them in so much. Do you know what's really crazy that I was just thinking? I used to do my makeup when I was younger, probably about 13, 14. I used to love makeup. I used to watch makeup tutorials. I used to watch Chloe Morello, Lauren Curtis and Carly Bible do their makeup. I would get home from school and sit in my bedroom at my little vanity desk and do my makeup and like practice all these makeup looks i would practice my makeup for parties at the weekend when i was about 16 and now i literally just do the same makeup every single time but i used to i don't know if anyone else used to do this but i used to do my makeup and talk to myself in the mirror as if i was filming a video like this i would always put on an Australian or an American accent and be like, 
hey guys so today's makeup routine is gonna be <laughs> i actually just find that so funny so i just applied the giorgio armani lip power lipstick in the shade 109 this is my everyday lipstick i love this color it's such a gorgeous kind of pinky brownie nude these tones are my favorite they always will be and i just think they suit me the most so this is my little trio combo that i'm obsessed with lip gloss is beauty pie wonder gloss collagen lip oil in the shade nude nectar this lip gloss is incredible my mum came over yesterday and she actually said to me that my lips looked really nice and she said it looks like you've had your lips done recently and i haven't so yeah i think it's all down to this lip gloss because it's just so plumping and hydrating and that is my makeup done usually i would apply a setting spray the charlotte tilbury flawless filter setting spray but it's run out so i can't use that i need to top that up time to brush out my hair get myself dressed and i am ready for the day so i hope you enjoyed this little beauty haul i don't think i've got any other products to share with you i think that was everything but yeah just a very simple everyday no foundation makeup look and i love it just super glowy super natural focusing on skincare mainly and then a little bit of color on the cheeks so yeah i will see you in a bit right i'm all dressed and ready i'm gonna set myself up in the garden and get some emails done and some work while the sun is shining i've just popped on this dress from amazon i'm obsessed with this dress it's always my go-to when it's hot and i'm just like at home it's a maxi full length long super soft dress i've actually just folded this top bit down because it is a little bit too long um and it just keeps it up a bit more secure but i am so in love with this dress it's so inexpensive and i just love it it's also not see-through at all i mean i've got a bikini on and the bikini is dark brown and besides from a little bit of a vpl you literally cannot see the color through the dress i love it and i've just popped on my Miu Miu sunglasses to go and sit in the garden get some laptop work done and then i am going to head to the garden center a little bit later this afternoon good afternoon i've had a very productive morning i've actually been working on some edits for my like to know it account which if you don't know i have um an account with like to know it which is basically a platform that you can shop all sorts of edits clothing home beauty i do basically everything i'll leave it linked below if you are looking to shop anything that i'm wearing talking about in my home it is usually posted on there so you can definitely find it really recommend downloading the app and following me and other creators that you love and what because it's just a really useful tool and a really useful platform i often post content on there that i don't necessarily post anywhere else um so yeah really recommend that but anyway i'm off to the garden center i've got changed i've just put this dress on from zara which i actually haven't really worn yet i've realized that i've bought so many bits for summer that i haven't actually really worn yet because we haven't had that much of a summer so i am making the most of the weather i'm gonna wear all the dresses and i'm loving it i'm also just thinking about what we can do at the weekend because i would like to do something really lovely maybe have a barbecue or walk to the pub Ooh. oh um so i'm off to the garden center i'm gonna get some new plants i'm gonna do some potting up this afternoon and i've actually just had a delivery of a new book so i think once i'm all done i'm gonna sit in the garden enjoy the sunshine and read my book and then basically just make the most of this weather because we don't have a holiday booked this year and i want to talk about my tan and i just want to make the most of it so i'll try and vlog when i'm in the garden center but hopefully they have some good bits and bobs i'm just at the limestone pot section and oh my goodness i really want this for in my office i feel like 
that would be amazing and i'm also thinking to get these two to put outside the front doors look at that oh my god everything's amazing and this bench as well i am absolutely obsessed with but i need to come here with jack because although someone can help me get them in the car i then can't get them out <laughs> there wasn't really much in the way of plants today so i've picked up these little bits to put in some pots around the house and that's it really right i have finished my weeding for the afternoon i'm absolutely covered in soil i've just had to like wash my arms in the sink because they were covered in soil but i've just made myself a very late lunch i mean we probably are going to be having dinner in the next couple of hours but i haven't had lunch yet so i thought i'd make a nice healthy fresh salad so we have got salad with a caesar dressing chicken avocado cucumber a little bit of feta and some of these like um seeds like a salad topper for a little bit of crunch delicious and i'm gonna eat this and watch the farmers that are currently out in the field baling up the grass good morning everyone it's friday today and i'm up dressed ready i've actually got my hair in a plait because i put some oil in it this morning i've mixed some rosemary oil non-diluted rosemary oil with some normal hair oil from whey and oh my goodness just by applying the whey hair oil to this bit of my hair it feels so soft and then i put the rosemary oil kind of like around the front because that's the bits that i'm trying to grow and i've just done very simple makeup like no foundation skin tint bronzer blush lips and that's it no mascara today i'm also wearing this set which is very much elevated pajamas i love this it's from fourth and reckless i've had it for a while now it's just a pair of wide leg trousers and a shirt satiny lovely it's such a nice at home outfit i've got some meetings this morning on zoom so i wanted to feel a little bit put together and a little bit ready for the day even though i still wanted to stay comfy because this morning i've got work to do laptop work filming work but i don't need to be in the content so i just wanted to stay comfy and i also need to do some cleaning this morning and then i'm heading out this afternoon to go to my friend's house who lives around the corner and she has just got two puppies so i'm going to see the puppies and i'm very excited um so yeah that is my friday a very lovely day i always love to have some kind of like socializing element on a friday afternoon because it really feels like the weekend is starting like last week grace was round we were working all day together and then my friend beth joined us and we had some rose in the garden in the afternoon and it always feels like the weekend is beginning so i'm going to make myself a drink this morning on my kind of health journey making myself better making myself feel good on the inside i'm doing movement every day a walk or a pilates class so i'm going to make myself a morning drink i don't know what to have but usually i need to have some caffeine so that is why i always opt for coffee however i'm gonna try and steer away from it and i'm gonna just try and have something that is gonna make me feel awake like a morning drink so i'm gonna make a smoothie i've got a banana i might put some powder in it of some kind i've got quite a few i've got some well eco i've got some beauty powders from the beauty chef i absolutely love this protein from well eco it's the vanilla it's the vanilla flavor it's a rice and pea protein it is so good i don't know if i really want that this morning I also have the Daily Greens Super Elixir from Well Eco, which is also very good. And it doesn't really taste horrible, which is obviously key when you're making yourself a drink with Daily Greens and all those things. So I think I'm gonna add that into my smoothie this morning. I'm gonna have a banana, 
Super Elixir, two of my seed capsules, and then just some normal milk. And I'm gonna blend it all up and yeah, easy. Top tip when you're adding powders into a blender is to always add the powder last so that it's at the top. If you do the powder first, it's just gonna stick to the bottom of the cup and it's never gonna blend. So I'm gonna do one banana. I was gonna do blueberries, but I don't really fancy blueberries. Gonna do about 100 ml of milk. Not too much. How many servings do I do of this? Two teaspoons. One, two. I think I'm going to need a little bit more milk to be honest. I might do 200 ml. And then we're going to blend it up. I've got the Ninja blender. I got this from Amazon when we first moved into the flat. And there we go. I'm gonna pour this into my cup. I would put ice in here, but I haven't actually got any ice. Ooh, nice and thick. Perfect. I don't know about you guys, but I just cannot drink a hot drink in the mornings, even in the winter. My mouth is so dry from the night. I have to have a cold drink. Let's see what this tastes like. Oh. That is really good. Right, I'm gonna go prep for my call. I have my first call in probably about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna go and prep for that. And let's get going with Friday. Right, I am running a little bit late. I feel like time has just gone so quickly this morning, but I've cleaned the whole house top to bottom. I've done some work, I've sent it off, and I am now dressed and ready. I've just had some blueberries and yogurt for my breakfast, even though it's 1.30. And I'm gonna go and head off to my friend's house and see her puppies and have a catch up with her. And then I'll be back home for carpenter number two to come. I've already had a carpenter come earlier this week and I have another one coming this afternoon to give me a quote on bits and pieces. So yeah, I'll show you my outfit. The slick plait is still here. I really need to wash my hair, but I don't have time. So I'm gonna do it later. I am wearing Novo Tank. I absolutely love these. If you're looking for basic pieces for your wardrobe and you just want staple colours, I've got these in black, white and the nude and I just love them. They are so thick. You don't need to wear a bra. They are amazing. I've also got my little love necklace still on from Freena Hearts. I love this. It's so pretty. And I am also wearing these suit trousers. Just really comfy, wide leg trousers. I feel like my uniform for autumn is going to be trousers, tank top, crop jacket, or a shirt, and a belt. It's just so easy and comfortable. And it's a little bit cloudy today. It's still warm, but it's a little bit cloudy. So I thought trousers would be a good option. These are from a gorgeous brand called Erin. They have the nicest pieces, and these trousers just fit me so well. I did have to take them up, but... They just fit like a dream and they're so comfy and I love this colour. I feel like it matches our whole entire interiors. Celine belt, Emma's Horan sandals as always and then I've just got my YSL bag to tie in the tan. And I'm also going to wear my Bottega sunglasses. I love these. I always forget that I have them because I haven't really worn them for a while but they are gorgeous. Just a really simple aviator gold frame just to really tie in the gold oh these need a clean but yeah this is my outfit of the day so let's go and see some puppies <laughs> doggies oh no they're they're busy <laughs> hello hello doggies <laughs> oh my goodness look at your little face oh you're so strong. Yes, you are. Yes, 
you are so strong. You've got your toys. Oh, I bet it must be so exciting for you. <laughs> oh my God, look at them. Oh. Stella, they don't. 